Hello, my name is Kevin Clay, and I'm one of the Lean Six Sigma instructors here at Six Sigma Development Solutions Incorporated. Today, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the uh, Chi-Squared using Minitab version 20. So uh, the Chi-Squared is a statistical analysis tool. It's a hypothesis test that basically looks at two attribute data sets and compares one to the other, all right? So um, in the data, we're gonna look at, uh, is there a, uh, a significant difference in, in defects that are produced per shift, okay? Um, so the data that we're looking at here uh, is data that comes from a uh, fake project uh, or a, a fake company and a fake project that, that we developed called PBJ uh, Incorporated or Peanut Butter and Jelly Incorporated. Uh, basically, uh, this, this project is focused on this company, uh, their uh, production cost to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich has gone up and they're under, trying to understand uh, where it could be coming from. So they're using Lean Six Sigma uh, to do that. So in the analysis phase, we're using a, a chi square to determine, you know, is, is there some significance in the, in the shifts and the amount of defects that they produce, all right? Uh, and so we're going to use a, a, a chi square to do that. So again, our data is here. You see, see me kind of circling it with my uh, cursor. Uh, we, are gonna, we are going to go up into the assistant uh, in the hypothesis test. We're gonna, we are gonna use the assistant as a uh, statistical analysis tool. This really makes analysis easy for us. All right, and we, we teach this specifically to, uh, to our green belts. Okay, so we're gonna come down to the chi-squared test for association that actually exists both in the, uh, uh, if we're comparing two samples or if we're comparing two or more samples. In this case, we're comparing two more samples uh, of uh, shift one, shift two, and shift three. <clears throat> uh, as you can see here, I already have my dialog uh, box filled in. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> uh, you'll, you'll have to fill this in with the data. Uh, it's, it's a little more complex than some of the other uh, tests. But basically what we're looking at is we're looking at, uh, is there a difference in uh, the amount of defects produced uh, per shift? All right, per shift and per line number. Uh, our alpha levels is 0 0.05. You have the ability, uh, ability to change that. Not much in the assistant, uh, only the 0 0.05, 0 0.01, or 0 0.10. Um, we're going to keep ours at 0 0.05. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on OK. All right, this is going to give us uh, a number of uh, informative graphs. Our first one, okay, uh, is going to tell us the validity of the test. All right, and so basically it says, all uh, samples are large enough to obtain sufficient expected count. So we'll, we'll talk about what that expected count is. All right, uh, uh, so basically it's saying that, that we have we have a, a large enough sample size in order to um, uh, determine that. <clears throat> okay, so we go into our diagnostic report and our diagnostic report just, uh, this gives us what's called observed and expected counts. Okay, the observed count is actually what, the, what, what was observed in the data, uh, for example. Uh, shift one, all right, uh, and line one. Okay, so that would be shift one, and that would be line one. It gave us an observation of 48. 
Minitab does some uh, calculations in the background, all right? And it determines what it expected that number to be, okay? What it expected that number to be. And the farther that the expected moves away from the observed, uh, there is something specifically causing that. that there is uh, something statistically significant to say that maybe that first shift uh, is different than the other shifts. Uh, so uh, again, if you want to really read more about this, go to minitab.com uh, and, and pull up their tutorial about the chi-squared test for association. Uh, and it goes deeply into uh, you know, the, the full analysis. But in, in broad sense, that's what this is doing. All right, it, it's looking at the difference between that observed and expected. Uh, and if it's large enough, it, 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 is, it then becomes statistically significant that there is a difference between uh, either shifts or uh, uh, line numbers. Okay, and we go uh, now to our summary report. Let me make sure I have not skipped anything. Okay, and our summary report uh, upper in the upper left-hand corner, uh, this gives us basically the, uh, the broad answer. Is the, uh, or do the percentage profiles differ? All right, uh, and with the 0.019 uh, and a 95% confidence uh, interval, this basically says, yes, they, they, they differ. All right. So again, if, if you want to know more about the, uh, the p-value uh, and the confidence uh, level or interval, uh, you, you can do that uh, with a Google search. Uh, this down here in the lower left-hand corner gives us um, a breakdown of, of those percentage profiles. It tells us, you know, where, where is the biggest difference? Uh, and we see here that first shift you know, uh, when it comes to uh, line number one, two, and three, excuse me, they, they seem, uh, first shift seems to be a little bit different, different on the first two, actually, not, not that much different on, on one, uh, but on two, it is. Uh, this is where we might find our opportunity. Uh, and this is, the uh, in the bottom right hand corner is a percent difference between what was observed, what we actually see in the data, and and what uh, the expected count uh, counts are uh, from many times calculations. All right, and the larger that the uh, observed moves away from the expected, all right, uh, th there is something specific going on there. And you can see that here with it, it moving far away uh, and this giving us our biggest bar. So um, it, looking at this from, from a practitioner standpoint, I would say, okay, so our p-value says 0 0.019, that means there's a difference. We go down to the percentage profile and we find out that the first shift is really our biggest difference. Um, that would lead us to, to then under, uh, trying to understand why is, is um, shift one showing us such a variation in defects uh, as opposed to the other shifts. All right, well, uh, I hope that you have gained a little bit more understanding of the uh, chi-square test, chi-square chi uh, uh, test for association. Um, and again, my name is Kevin Clay. Uh, I am one of the Lean Six Sigma instructors here at Six Sigma Development Solutions. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at uh, my email address is kclay at sigma.dsi.com. I will put that uh, information for my contact uh, down in the uh, description below, uh, below this YouTube video. So uh, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you.